A Bay Area woman now finds herself at the center of the national debate on immigration. And now a group from her high school says the actions of Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen go against their school values. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson joins us now live from the school in Hillsborough County with more. Jeff? Yeah, good evening, Josh. To be honest, a lot of grads here at Berkeley Prep had never even heard of Homeland Security Chief Kirsten Nielsen. That all changed with this debate on immigration. Christian Nielsen grew up in Clearwater, graduated from Tampa's prestigious Berkeley Prep. But some fellow Berkeley Prep grads aren't too proud of her right now. The policies that she has been enforcing and the consequences of them are not something that Berkeley should be proud of. Richard Stahl is one of a number of Berkeley grads sending Secretary Nielsen a letter this week asking her to reconsider the policy that is separating children from their parents if the families cross the U.S. border illegally. Integrity is a part of the school's motto, and we feel that Secretary Nielsen has not been living up to that. Nielsen has been unapologetic about the policy. Illegal actions have and must have consequences. No more free passes. But her actions have drawn cars. plenty of protest. No Shame! Including this incident in Washington, D.C. last night, when protesters followed her into a Mexican restaurant. A number of Berkeley grads are now signing the letter asking her to remember the core values they say were taught to Nielsen in this school. We thought to ourselves, she has to think back uh, to the roots, uh, to the fundamental values that she was taught at Berkeley, um, and think back to herself, uh, am I, what, is what I'm doing right? It should be noted that Secretary Nielsen was at the president's side in the Oval Office today when he signed his executive order relating to families and illegal immigration. And regardless of how you look at this question, that was historic for Berkeley Prep. Live in Hillsborough County, Jeff Patterson, News Channel 8.